Hey guys, welcome to another Python video. In this video, we will discuss about how to get input in Python from user. We will also see how input function works and demonstrate it with various examples. So without any further delay, let's start. We often have a need to interact with user to get some sort of inputs from them. Well, Python provides us with two inbuilt function to read the input from keyboard. The first one is input function. The input function takes the input from user and store it in assigning variable. This function is available in the latest Python versions. The second one is raw input function. This takes exactly what is typed from the keyboard, convert it to the string and then return it to the variable in which we want to store the value. The main difference between input and raw input is that raw input only works in the older version of Python like 2.x or previous versions. Now let's see how the input function works. It is divided in stages. When program execution started, it will pause its execution if it encounters an input function call and stay paused until the user has given an input. It prompts the user to provide an input Text in the prompt is optional, but it is always better to provide a meaningful prompt to the user so that they are clear about what input is being requested. Then user provides the input in console. It can be anything string or a number also. And in the last stage, input will be returned as a string to the program. And if we want to convert it to the integer, then we need to cast it explicitly. Now let's start with few examples. Now we will be using PyCharm as an IDE for uh, running our Python code. So suppose I have a variable name and I want to read its value from the console. So what I will do name is equal to input and inside input I will give the text which will be shown to the user as a prompt. So I will say enter name. So this is what user will be able to see while I am I will be executing the program. So suppose I do not do anything and directly run this program. You can see enter the name is there. So here I will be entering my name and that's it. I have not done any processing after that. That is why nothing happened in the code. So now suppose I have got the name and I want to print that name itself with the hello message. So hello. I will do a hello and then name. So what it will do, it will take the name from um, the first line from the user and then print it on the console. Now let's see, I will be running the program. Now it is asking me to enter my name. I will enter Aman and here you can see it has printed hello Aman. So this is how you can use the value inputted from the console. Now let's try to request for some more details from the user. Like I want to have a phone number as well. So phone number, I will do the same thing. Input and enter phone number. So similar to name, I will be requesting the phone number from the user as well. So what I can do, uh, I can print that uh, other value as well using print statement so uh, I will print as phone number is phone number that's it so if you see we have seen how the uh, input function actually works and on the first point itself we have seen that if input method call is encountered then it will pause the execution of the program so if you see I am just executing this program and at the first line itself input method call is encountered so the program execution will be paused uh, at this point until i provide some input in the console if i do not provide any input the program execution will be paused at this point only so uh, i'm just writing my name and you can see in the next line itself again a call to the input method is encountered and uh, the program execution will be paused at that point only so now let me uh, try to add a phone number when I press enter then you can see it does it just executed all other statement it does not pause the execution why because there was no other input uh, method call present in the program 
and you can see both name as well as phone number is printed which I have provided in the console we have also discussed that uh, it will convert any input to the string and then return it to the program so let's see what is the type of name and what is the type of phone number so I am just executing this program and I will be entering my name my phone number and here you can see both name and phone are of type string so in the end whatever you will type it can be any number or any floating number or any string it will be converted to the string before sending it back to the program now suppose we want to save the phone number as an integer so what we will do we will cast it implicitly using int method so if you are not sure about uh, how to use int method or string method or float casting method please do check out the previous video on python where i have already explained how to use them and why to use them in python so whatever input is there i have implicitly casted it to integer so now if i run this program i will be getting uh, the phone number as an integer type so i have put in my name my number and here you can see the type of phone is integer now earlier it was string so by default it will be string but if you want to cast it to your specific required type that you can do uh, in the code itself suppose we have a requirement to get two numbers from console and compare their value there are two ways we can uh, achieve that so first is by accepting individual numbers separately so this is how we can uh, do that and simply we will compare the numbers and print if x is bigger or y is bigger this is the simplest way to do that now let's run it so here what we need to do we need to press enter and it will again ask for the second number i will enter the second number now python also provides one more way where we can get the input values in a single line itself so i am just uh, commenting this code existing code now how we can get the both variable values in a single line so x comma y is equal to input enter or i can say ask enter uh, two numbers okay and after that i will use split function so that's it uh, all other logic will remain as it is so now what it will do it will expect two numbers separated by a space itself let me run this program so now it is asking me enter two numbers so i will enter 10 space 20 and you can say y is bigger uh, let's try another test case where x is bigger so x is 30 and y is 10 in case x is bigger so this is how you can simplify your code like uh, I have replaced two lines of code and two separate inputs in a single line of code here and it is not restricted to two inputs you can have any number of inputs comma separated here and similarly it will expect those many inputs from the user in the console itself.